We are back at 15 past the hour. Your sex life and your health, they have more to do with each other than you might think. And as we age, issues like libido and medications can complicate what goes on in the bedroom. Dr. Mehmet Oz, host of the Dr. Oz Show, is back to answer your questions about sexual health and aging. And Dr. Oz, great to have you back. And I know you got to shoot across the street momentarily for your big uh, uh, seminars. Today. Yeah, the, the health and happiness, so they're lining up out there. Can I just say one thing, because I know people are giving me a hard time already. I know it's hard to get into the event, but you can go to DrOz.com, sign up for Transformation Nation Million. You. We got a lot of the information on there. 1.2 million people are part of this movement to take your, your, your health back into control. Be part of that group and change it today. And today's the last day to sign up. Now, sex is one of the topics we talk about a lot. And I know we've got a lot of questions from we viewers. Do. We so have a lot away. of viewer questions. Uh, the first one is actually a video question oh. from Carlos in New Jersey. Let's take a listen. Hi, Dr. Oz. Do men continue to want to have sex more than women as we age? Carlos, Carlos. Yes, in fact, not only do men want to have sex more than women, which I think women know, uh, but it, that gap tends to get larger as you get older. 77% wow. of men who are older want to have sex, 36% of women, uh, and that gap is even larger if couples are not married. So at least marriage closes the gap a little bit. So we don't think about it all the time, just most of the just time. Just most of the time. <laughs> yeah, part of it, actually, you mentioned libido-enhancing drugs and you know, erectile dysfunction medications. They actually uh, give men a bit more confidence in that area, mm. which further widens the gap. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Next question comes from Abby in Orlando. She joins us on the phone. Abby, what's your question? Hi. Um, I'm postmenopausal, and sex feels like razor blades. Could that be a hormone problem, and is there a remedy? Uh, you're asking a question that's so commonly asked, and the, the answer without question is the hormones drive most of us. But there are three hormones that hold us back from having the sex we want to have. For women, estrogen is important. Obviously, you need it for lubrication. Uh, you also need it for the muscles to relax appropriately, and it's part of the libido. But don't forget, testosterone was also made in the ovaries. So as you go through menopause, your ovaries stop making that hormone, which not only gives you a little pooch, which is why women gain weight after menopause, but also reduces their libido. But the big hormone is progesterone. Progesterone is valiant for the female brain. So what ends up happening is small things that didn't used to bother you, they begin to bother you. So you don't want to be in the bedroom anymore. So those three hormones together become problematic. Folks, these are addressable issues. There's lots we can do about hormone it. Hormone replacement therapy? Actually, well, hormone replacement therapy, creams, mm -hmm. gels. There are many ways of getting past this. Uh, but this is worth having a conversation. You know, intimacy is an important part of being a human being. You don't want that to be in your past. Right. All right. We've got another video question. This one is from Ike from New York. As we age, are we at more risk of getting STDs? STDs? <laughs> this is going to blow your mind. But the biggest increase in STDs are in older Americans. Really? The, the incidence of STDs in older Americans has doubled in the last decade. Doubled. Here's why. Lowest use of condoms in men and women over the age of 40. You know why? Because you think you're not fertile. So, because you're not fertile, why bother wearing a condom? But of course, the major reason to wear a condom is to prevent a sexually transmitted illness. Big issue that is uh, rearing its head. This is true for, H for HPV, it's true for chlamydia, gonorrhea. I mean, all the STDs are dramatically increasing in the older population. All right, we have Lovely. another video, <laughs> video question here. Hi, Dr. Oz. Do you think it's, there are any risks about taking Viagra once you reach, say, 50 or 60 years old? I wonder why he's asking. Uh, I, <laughs> just, <laughs> his friend, his friend just wants friend. to know. Uh, Viagra is a very safe drug. 14% of the population that's older, uh, who's actually active, takes it. Uh, it's a problem if you have heart problems because it shunts the blood away. Listen, the, the problem with the male sex organ, it, it is fundamentally is the dipstick for health for the male body. If it's not working right, it means the blood vessels aren't functioning correctly. So those same blood vessels in your brain, in your heart, in your kidneys may not be working. So when you take Viagra, Cialis, any of these enhancement drugs, you might shunt the blood away from those organs. And that actually can be problematic. So if you've got an engine or problem, that's the one area I worry about. But generally speaking, they're pretty safe. All right. We were tweeted the next question for you. Dr. Oz, I just watched your segment on happiness and health in marriage. Which gender recovers best from marital infidelity? You know, that's a very specific uh, topic for the person. Uh, women in relationship crave protection. Guys crave respect. So obviously infidelity undermines both of those. Uh, I do think that women have a much uh, uh, a more capable uh, ability to, to cope with infidelity because you bond with each other, you talk about these things, and guys don't. But I can guarantee you one thing, women can get even faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our next video question comes from Jim in Putnam Valley, New York. Here it is. How does working long hours as you age impact upon your sex life with your spouse? 
Working long hours is a major issue because you don't prioritize what's so in important to being intimate, which is sex. And, and you're tired. You're tired, and, and you make excuses, and it's easy to do that. Listen, we've all been there, but sex begets sex. If you take nothing away from this conversation today, remember that if you don't feel like it, you still should do it because it, it enhances the ability of you to connect emotionally because you're connected officially. Uh, and this is hardwired into who we are. And we can talk about it in generic terms all the way uh, in any way we desire. But if we're not involved with each other and we're not pushing ourselves to connect with each other because our job, our stress, our, our money, th things have gotten in the way, the kids especially, don't make those excuses get in the way of showing up in your own life. The best years are not behind you. They're in front of you. All right, that's a good one to end on. Dr. Mehmet Oz, thanks so much for being Great with to have us. You here.